Hi, dear friends. Welcome back. And if you're new here, my name's Rebecca. Welcome. What am I working on today? Of course, we're working on the Christmas decorating series. And today I'm going to work on my mantle and my fireplace. So without any more chit chat, let's just go ahead and get started. Hey guys, before I get started, I just wanted to share this massive mantle. It's from an old barn that was located here and we have about 25, 26 homes in this one little area and it won't grow anymore. A farmer bought the back part of the uh, land and no more roads will be built. So there's about 25 homes in this little area here. But this massive beam came out of one of the barns that was taken down in this area and used here. Sorry about the shadows used here. You can see how rustic it is on the top. I think it's maybe about 73 inches by about nine inches thick, seven inches tall. So a massive piece of wood and I will never paint that guys. I love it just being natural, just the way that it is and I really enjoy decorating. So let's go ahead and get started. Hey guys, I lost my video. I normally video on my iPhone and then and I send it over to my iPad so that I can work on editing. But for some reason, it is not going to send it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what I've got done so far on the mantle. I used two nine foot flocked garland and I had got those I think from Walmart a couple of years ago. I just doubled it. You can see it's a little thick there at the top and then on the bottom they hung a little bit too low once I put the bells up so I just folded them up and sort of incorporated the stems all together where it looks a little thicker. After I put the garland up I added the two candlesticks and once I get everything done I'll light everything up for you. I added the two little trees that came from Hobby Lobby and the little horse I found in Tennessee See, while we were on vacation and I do just love that little rocking horse. I was able to get the wire on the tobacco basket up there and I'm going to add a wreath to that. I added the bells on the side and then in front of the stockings. The stockings are from UGG.com and then the little beads with the initial R for my name and uh, L for Larry over here. So I love those stockings. They're just so fluffy. If you remember, I got two of the birch woods that were, they've got some wire in it, so they fold. And I just put a little bit of wire and then I just twisted them in the garland and the garland is holding them on there, wrapped around the birch wood. And then I added these little picks, the little picks there. And then there's one pick with each birch wood and then the flowers came from Hobby Lobby and I added a few little pine cones in there and you can see the little bird. I took a couple of little pieces of driftwood and I got a whole package of those from Hobby Lobby, wired two together and then those little birds have like a little clip on the bottom and it's clipped on the wire. Uh, I cannot remember where I got the stocking holders from. Maybe either Walmart or uh, Hobby Lobby. And then just added a few more 
pine cones and I've got some fairy lights in there. I will turn those on later. And then I still have the bottom of the fireplace to get decorated. I've cleaned it all up. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to work on that. On the left side of the fireplace, do you remember the old milk bucket that I thrifted? Well, I decided to set it there and I added some wood along with some pine cones. And this is going to be left there through the whole winter. I don't know, we might burn it. We'll see. On the right side of the fireplace, I have a wire basket and I have just thrown in a couple of throw pillows. I'm gonna keep my eye open for the perfect blanket to go with those pillows. I need a wreath for the top of my fireplace, but this one, I, I do love the colors and the texture, but for $38 even at Walmart, I think it's a little pricey. So they did have a wreath, a flocked wreath. Here's the tag for $9.98. I had some ribbon on hand from another project, and here is six little pine cones that I'm going to paint, and let's see how I can put a wreath together that's only going to cost $10 instead of $38 for a wreath at Walmart. And this will go up on my mantle over the fireplace, so let's go ahead and get started. After viewing that ribbon on that wreath for several hours, I just couldn't stand it anymore. I had to fix it, guys. I don't know, it's something about a small ribbon with four tails. I don't think it looks right, so I fixed it. There is something always about a fireplace that makes the room so warm and cozy. And this mantle turned out just the way that I thought it would be. I used some of the things that I had on hand and a few new things this year, but I love it. I think it turned out just warm and cozy and just the way that I wanted. Let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Does it need something extra? Let me know.